On Monday, the 17th of April, 2023, the global space community and enthusiasts worldwide held their breath as SpaceX's Starship, the world's biggest rocket, prepared for a historic launch in South Texas near Brownsville. However, disappointment spread when the launch was canceled just 10 minutes before the countdown time due to a frozen pressurant valve. By Sunday evening, the road leading to the launch pad was jammed with RVs, campers, cars, and even bicycles, as many people were trying to make their way to the launch site. These enthusiastic space fans wanted to witness the launch before their eyes. Everyone looked forward to the time SpaceX had promised to launch the Starship, as seen in a tweet that reads, The Starship team is go for prop load, now targeting 8.20 a.m. It was unfortunate that the launch was canceled just 10 minutes before the countdown time, John Innsprucker, SpaceX's principal engineer, told the company's live stream, The decision right now is that we are going to stop the launch for today. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk confirmed John Innsprucker's earlier communication in a tweet saying, A pressurant valve appears to be frozen, so unless it starts operating soon, no launch today. Following the sudden cancellation of the highly anticipated launch plan, the world was waiting for an update. And who better to provide it than Elon Musk himself? In a tweet that sent excitement through the internet, Musk teased the possibility launch saying, The team is working around the clock on many issues, maybe 20th of April, maybe not. SpaceX added announcing in a tweet that the date for the groundbreaking event could indeed be the very next day. Teams are working towards Thursday, April 20th, for the first flight test of a fully integrated Starship and Super Heavy rocket. While Elon Musk has acknowledged that the first orbital flight has a 50% chance of success, the recent failure increases the uncertainty surrounding the launch. Some space analysts are already arguing that the SpaceX launch could go wrong for the second time. If this happens, you can be sure that the Starship launch will have a lengthy delay. The team at SpaceX will be under immense pressure to overcome these challenges, ensuring a successful launch as soon as possible. The team is also under regulatory pressure to ensure a successful launch within the five-year window granted by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. By the way, if you think that the SpaceX engineers who were responsible for the failed launch on the 17th of April will face Elon Musk's wrath, then you are wrong. One thing that you need to understand with Elon is that he always gives his employees room for making mistakes. The tech billionaire believes that innovation can only happen when people make mistakes. In fact, he takes such failures as a chance of learning as seen in his tweet, learned a lot today, now offloading propellant, retrying in a few days. Thanks to the hardworking SpaceX team, now we understand the real problem that led to the cancellation of the launch on April 17th. It is actually simple. The valve froze after methane, which is the fuel used for the rocket, was chilled to very low temperatures. Unlike other rockets that use hydrogen, the SpaceX Starship uses methane as its fuel for propulsion. The energy used to power the Starship is produced after methane and liquid oxygen mix and burn. Although hydrogen is lighter and highly efficient, SpaceX chooses to use methane which is easier to handle and cheaper to produce than hydrogen. We all know that Starship rocket is a marvel of engineering, featuring the cutting-edge reusable Raptor 2 engines. The massive Super Heavy booster will utilize 33 Raptor 2 engines, while the Starship spacecraft will be powered by 9 Raptor 2 engines. So what should we expect when the Starship is finally launched? The plan of the voyage still remains unchanged. The Starship will leave SpaceX's launch site in Boca Chica Village, and the Super Heavy booster will separate from the Starship spacecraft after about 170 seconds into the flight. After separating, the booster will make a partial return and plunge into the Gulf of Mexico, which is roughly 32 kilometers from the shore. As expected, the Starship spacecraft will continue flying between the Florida Straits. The 164-feet Starship will achieve orbit before making a soft landing about 100 kilometers off the northwest coast of Kauai, a Hawaiian island. It is critical for both the Super Heavy Booster and the Stainless Steel Starship spacecraft to make a soft landing as they will be reused. What makes Elon Musk's Starship rocket unique is that it is the first rocket that is fully reusable, making it cheaper than the other rockets. It is absolutely necessary for space launches to be as cheap as possible, since it is a very costly affair. But before the Starship travels to Mars, it will have to take humans to the moon. This gigantic rocket has ambitious plans for space exploration, with missions to the Moon, Mars, and even beyond. 
The spacecraft's design is sophisticated and robust, capable of withstanding long journeys, such as the trip to Mars, which can take between seven and nine months. The Starship's purpose is to transport both cargo and humans to these distant destinations, boasting the capacity to carry 100 people or over 150 tons of cargo. Elon Musk's vision is to establish a self-sustaining city on Mars by 2060, with mass exodus to the Red Planet beginning in 2050. The cost of building a sustainable city on Mars could range from $100 billion to an astronomical $10 trillion, depending on various factors. Musk's ambitious plans include not just one city, but multiple cities on the Red Planet. During an annual International Mars Society convention held in July 2022, Musk elaborated on his vision of expanding outposts into villages, towns, and eventually full cities on Mars, creating a network of interconnected human settlements. In a conversation with the head of TED Conference's Chris Anderson, Musk was asked about the price of traveling to Mars, which he responded saying, if moving to Mars costs, for argument's sake, $100,000, then I think almost anyone can work and save up and eventually have $100,000 and be able to go to Mars if they want. However, the realization of these ambitious plans relies heavily on the successful launch and operation of the Starship spacecraft. As the world awaits the historic launch of SpaceX's Starship, the future of space exploration grows increasingly exciting. So stay tuned for more updates on the incredible journey of the Starship and its ambitious missions. If you're as passionate about space exploration as we are, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.